uh, the founder of uh, the company One More Day, uh, that uh, is a virtual coach. He will give you uh, explanation in a while uh, about the company. So it's basically uh, a coach that uh, will help you to overcome your exams. Indeed, uh, uh, I think uh, that uh, his challenge uh, uh, is, uh, very, is very successful among the students also because they are curious of uh, uh, this uh, project uh, that can help them uh, to basically uh, be successful in their uh, uh, final marks and final evaluation. So, uh, thanks Per Quinto for uh, joining these uh, uh, webinars and also the X Culture Challenge. Uh, so, uh, we are uh, curious to hear from you more in details, uh, an overview of the company, even if you have done it already, uh, as uh, the Professor Tara says. And, uh, uh, we are curious also to know how you are uh, evolving, especially during this uh, particular period. Yes. So if uh, there are some, uh, let's say, uh, tentative to adapt or to, uh, let's say, take advantage, although I know it's uh, uh, not probably the right time, but at least to try to uh, adapt uh, to this uh, particular moment uh, with your app and uh, to see whether you are also uh, trying to uh, look for war, let's say, with respect to your project. So we are curious to hear from you what's going on. Yeah. Yes. Thank you and uh, good morning to everyone. Uh, we are working from home from at least, I think, uh, more than one month um, because of the COVID-19. Uh, and uh, we are safe, so this is <laughs> a, a good uh, thing. Um, and uh, we are experiencing some uh, benefit for one more day from this uh, uh, difficult, difficult moment. Um, but um, I, I think that we also have a responsibility um, uh, because uh, we uh, we can help. Uh, uh, people in this uh, in this moment, and um, as a, a new company, as a startup, we we want to do that. So, I will introduce very um, uh, briefly the, the one more day uh, pitch. So, uh, starting from uh, how the idea uh, comes out, and then. Uh, 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 little showcase of what one more day do uh, for students right now. So um, when I was uh, at the college, uh, I, I was a, a very bad student uh, because uh, uh, when uh, preparing for, for exams, I, I start uh, with uh, uh, the best idea to uh, get uh, the highest grade uh, possible, but then I uh, not finished my study program because uh, I was uh, absorbed by a, a thousand distractions. And uh, in the end, I found myself uh, uh, studying everything uh, uh, as quick as I can uh, uh, before the, the exam date. And my results uh, were uh, uh, a disaster. So when uh, when I, I finished uni university, uh, I came up with this idea. Uh, if we can uh, have a, like uh, Runtastic, like uh, uh, Freeletics, like uh, other app, the diet app, for example, uh, but for study. So um, one more day uh, was uh, uh, thinked as a Runtastic for study. And then, with the help of the first uh, uh, beta uh, users that subscribed uh, my uh, mailing list, uh, I started to uh, developing the idea and the first uh, uh, prototype. So, um, managing time, keeping motivation and focusing, managing the stress, uh, having an effective study method, uh, these were the, the main points uh, that uh, uh, comes out from interview with, the, with students. And uh, we try to build um, an app 
that uh, uh, can solve these problems. So today, one more day, is a, a student coach. Um, it's, it's very simple because uh, you just have to type in uh, the date uh, in, of, uh, of your test or your uh, uh, exam and then uh, insert uh, everything you have to study. So your book, uh, your notes, uh, um, if you uh, can study in a specific uh, um, uh, block of uh, time, you can customize your, uh, your, um, your timetable. So maybe you are studying and working, so you can exclude some um, some uh, uh, hourly uh, so, some some time from from your timetable, and um, and then day by day, uh, one more day tells you for that specific exam uh, how much page you uh, how many pages you have to study and what is your uh, uh, daily goal and um, uh, with the notification, push notification in your phone, uh, One More Day helps you to uh, stay focused and to stay motivated. Uh, we, um, uh, maybe I can share some, some screen with you. I will try. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, just a second. It's very okay. Sharing is disabled. Um, it should be working. Uh, let me make sure that it should be okay. working. Okay, no problem. Uh, we we can. Uh... So you don't have the option at all, or? Uh, yes, I have the option, but but a uh, message says host disabled attendee screen sharing. Oh, it's interesting. Let me try to check. <laughs> Uh, uh, so basically, uh, one more day works um, by managing time for students, uh, tracking study progress. Uh, in, inside the app, there is a gamification system, so you collect points when you do something good. Uh, for example, uh, keeping motivation, keeping uh, studying every day. Uh, there are push notification and smart alarm to engage students. Um, the study algorithm adapt uh, daily goals uh, to the rhythm of study of uh, each student and uh, you have your overall uh, study uh, statistics so uh, you can see how is going your your study and uh, uh, we are very focused on uh, user engagement uh, because it is the, the critical uh, uh, aspect of the, of the wall app. And uh, in the next releases, we want to uh, use uh, collected points to unlock new features or to get some rewards. Uh, at the moment, uh, uh, we, are, we have uh, something like uh, uh, 4,000 registered users. And um, when we uh, when we had the last meeting in uh, February, uh, the number of registered users was uh, one thousand five hundred. So, uh, so that's from, we, from November. So it's less than half a year. Uh, no, it was uh, two months. <laughs> in two months. Oh, that's one, yes. quite impressive. So do you think it has something to do with the COVID-19 or it just because of natural growth of the business? Uh, I, I think that during the COVID-19, uh, uh, we experienced um, uh, the, um, uh, um, downsides of uh, the, the numbers because um, before uh, the 5th of March, uh, we were acquiring uh, uh, something like uh, uh, 150 uh, users per day. And uh, after the, the 5th of March, uh, we're around uh, 80, 100 users per day. So uh, this was not so good uh, from, 
this point uh, of uh, of view. So I wonder. I wonder. If the, oh, it's working okay. now. Yeah. I wonder if it could be simply sort of delayed subscriptions, meaning that March was a little hectic and nobody had time to explore new apps. But now that people sort of have gotten used to working from home and now they realize, oh, I missed several assignments uh, at school. Mm -hmm. uh, also because uh, that they all will come back and yeah. sort of start applying now and you will see an increase. Yes, maybe, maybe yes. Uh, my uh, my first source source of um, uh, acquisition is this uh, Instagram campaign. It's um, uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Um, it's um, a, a campaign on Instagram Stories, and uh, the the target uh, are uh, Italian students from uh, 19 to 26 uh, uh, year old and basically uh, uh, the the first uh, uh, conversion uh, comes from uh, from this campaign and as you can see this is the the last uh, the last month so uh, you can see the the downsides but but I can assure you that uh, first of uh, of the fifth of March, we uh, we were collecting I, I think twenty five percent more uh, of new users. But uh, we will see if uh, if uh, I think uh, will uh, will improve or or not. Maybe we also saturated the the target on Facebook. So. We, we can know what's the, the real reason. Uh, as I was uh, telling you uh, on the 16th of February, uh, we have 1,500 registered users and uh, 1,000 monthly active users with uh, 2,500 uh, sessions started in uh, the last uh, 30 days. And uh, uh, yesterday, uh, we the, these uh, these are the, the data we uh, we collect. So we have a, a big increase in our numbers, and um, uh, yes, we are we are happy. But we can uh, we can improve uh, some other um, uh, metrics, for example. Uh, uh, premium conversion uh, and uh, um, the the time spent on the app. So it's uh, uh, just the, the the bright side of the uh, of the medal. Yeah, I think and, this, uh, this one might be what uh, the demonstration. What Basil was saying that probably at the beginning it take it took some time in order to. Uh, switch from the offline to the online lecture because uh, you know it's not something that you do immediately it took one two three weeks and now that people are online are starting to discover all the uh, application tools uh, platforms yes. probably now you are seeing let's say that every time yeah yes i i totally agree and i think that we will see uh so something that we we can't expect <laughs> in the in the future because um, the way uh, you are teaching in the university and the way the students are learning is changing. So this will have a, a strong impact on uh, uh, one more day, I think. Sorry, Pierre Pinto, and how those numbers are distributed? Are this, this is only the Italian market or this is the worldwide? Uh, this is the total uh, uh, numbers. So, and how do they distribute across country? Do you have an idea what's the percentage of Italian and foreign? Uh, yes, the maybe I can share with you another, uh, another screen from my directly from my analytics so you can see. Uh, Sorry, because the, it's everything in uh, Italian. Uh, but these are, uh, okay. 
You're all seeing your password. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no secret. We are totally transparent, so <laughs> no problem. Uh, these are demographic data. So there's so, demographic of those who visit your website or who use the app? The app, the app, just for the app. Oh, it's spreading. It's very, very global. Yeah. But the colors, uh, the intensity of the colors is uh, related to the numbers of users. Yes, yes. Wow. So the North so America. At this time, using the app or using the uh, visiting the website? Uh, using the app. Wow. We have a, other, uh, another uh, uh, view of this for uh, the website. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah, this looks like, yeah, okay. Yeah. Surprise also about China because you don't have the Chinese language, if I'm not wrong, right? You have just the English. Uh, yes. Yeah. I see it is um, quite uh, dark as call. I mean, it's, it's uh, not the first level, but. Uh, as I already told to someone uh, this week uh, uh, about the um, uh, priority of, of a new language. Uh, we will see uh, how many students from uh, the different countries are uh, using one more day and we will uh, decide uh, um, the priority of, uh, of uh, languages released. So uh, okay. maybe we will do something in Spanish or uh, I don't know. Uh, but the, the numbers <laughs> are those one on the right, right? I mean, the, yes, uh, yes, yes, but this just so to be is uh, for the last month. We can use the last. Ah, okay, last month. Sorry. Yes, okay, now that's clear. Um, so, so I, I think that X culture is responsible of a <laughs> lot of of these uh, positive numbers in the um, uh, spread uh, all over the world because. Uh, uh, the, the the Instagram campaign is only for Italian students. So, but, but the app at this time is available in English, if I remember correctly. Yes. Right? Yes. So even the Italian users still use it in English, or you have an Ita Italian version? Uh, we have an Italian version. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So would it be a good time then to switch to questions at this time? We have some questions that I would like to ask, and um, so I see we have quite a few students watching live. So uh, maybe if they have questions, again, you can ask students, you can ask the questions two different ways. One, uh, there is a button uh, at the bottom of your screen that says Q and A, questions and answers. So you can just type your, <clears throat> type your questions there. And then also uh, you can um, uh, raise hand. So there is a button that also looks like raised hand and we will add you to the virtual conference room and you will be able to ask the questions directly. <clears throat> but I have a list of questions here, quite a few. Uh, some came uh, and we already have them in the frequently asked questions catalog and some of them came via email and some of them actually were sent uh, at different times. And so I would like to maybe go one by one. So several students asked about um, uh, funds that may be available for your company uh, from the government. So uh, in many countries, governments are now passing all kinds of stimulus packages. In the United States, as you know, they passed a $2 trillion package and apparently now all of a sudden there are all kinds of loans and, uh, and just simply money available to small businesses. Is there anything like that in Italy? And if so, are you eligible for any of those funds? Uh, yes, there are uh, some uh, opportunity for, uh, uh, by the government, they also by other uh, uh, organization to uh, get some funds and uh, we are uh, uh, looking at that and we are uh, uh, thinking about uh, uh, investor uh, other than um, uh, getting some uh, I, I, uh, I think uh, that uh, uh, when when uh, when you uh, get some money from from the the government, uh, are a, a sort of dead money that, that you <laughs> you can uh, can take, uh, but it's not so easy because uh, uh, 
Sometimes they want that you respect some uh, uh, criteria. Uh, other time you need to have uh, some specific uh, uh, object for your company or uh, you have to hire uh, a certain number of people. So we are looking the, the best solution for, for us. Maybe we will uh, uh, use uh, banking uh, uh, funding. So we uh, will ask for a, a, a grant for, from a, a bank. Yeah. Sorry, Pierre, uh, just to integrate, have, have you explored also possibility provided by the Startup Act, you know that there is a law from 2012, mm -hmm. if I'm not wrong, that provides financing to high-tech startups. You like yes, my, my partner Luca is the uh, the, the 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 best uh, person to to speak about that. But uh, yes, we are uh, evaluating everything, and right now we are. Uh, um, creating the company as an um, innovative uh, startup. It's a specific uh, uh, typology of, uh, of uh, company here in Italy. So we can uh, have some benefit from, yeah. from this. And fiscal benefit, if you organize yeah. as a, innovative startups, you can access to that law and it provide you some benefit. Okay, sorry, Basi, you can continue. A related question that several students asked was one, do you need additional funding at this time? And two, if you were to secure a major investor who would give you a substantial sum of money, what would you spend it on? Okay, uh, <laughs> very good question. Uh, yes, I think that with some funds we can um, uh, go faster. So we can improve the software, but we can also acquire uh, uh, more users and uh, uh, do more tests. Uh, we are learning how uh, people interact with One More Day, how people uh, study, and um, we need uh, uh, to release uh, uh, much more often a new, uh, new version of the app. Uh, we are very slow at the moment because uh, we are uh, bootstrapped. So uh, when when uh, we have to uh, uh, push out a new release, uh, we try to put everything uh, inside. Uh, we listen to to customers, but. Uh, we have also some uh, some feature that we have to add for uh, for us, for example, uh, for reporting feature or um, uh, for example, now we are working on uh, uh, the improving uh, user interface and user experience for premium activation. Uh, we want to introduce a, a seven day free trial and we want to change some um, uh, call to action and trigger inside the app. And these are not new features, but uh, are um, uh, some improvement that can help us to um, convert uh, more uh, user into premium and to uh, be uh, cash positive in the medium term. Mm -hmm. And the second question was about what we want to do with the, with money. Yes. Yeah, so, what are you need? Okay. If you were able to secure funding, what would you spend it on? Okay. Um, I think that uh, uh, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand uh, uh, euro will be um, a good uh, funding for um, uh, structuring a, a company. And um, I, I think that uh, the, first, uh, um, the first money will be spent uh, on uh, a product. So we want to uh, improve one more day uh, to be 100% uh, the, the best solution to study. And, and then uh, marketing and other stuff, but uh, first of all, product, uh, listen to 
what people want and uh, uh, understand how they use it uh, uh, one more day. And it, this is uh, both time consuming that money consuming because uh, uh, today we are in two uh, doing this. So we can uh, talk with, I don't know, 10 people per day. But uh, if we grow uh, 100, 200, 300, 1000 per day, uh, we cannot listen to and talk with uh, with everyone, so uh, we need uh, more resources to uh, improve the software. Yep, that makes sense. Um, Julia will be helping me here with the questions, but let me ask one more and then maybe um, pass the baton to her. But um, uh, operating expenses, so your app is fully functional, it's been written, it, it works. So what do you need, what, what are your operating expenses at this time? What do you spend your money on given that the product itself is now ready and doesn't need any further development? Or does it? Uh, so, sorry, can you repeat the, the... What are your operating expenses at this time? So okay. I think the way the student presented the question was that uh, you're basically selling an app. It's now been developed. You don't really need to work much on it. So what are the things that you need to spend? Uh, basically, what are your operating expenses at this time? You mentioned okay. advertisement, so I assume that's part of the expenses. What are the other things that you need to be spending on now to keep the business running? Yes, uh, at the moment we spend something like 100 euro per month in advertising. It's a very little budget. And, and, and you can see what, what number we can uh, uh, get from, from this little budget. And then we spend for uh, the hosting. So we have uh, Firebase from Google that uh, handles the whole uh, database system. Uh, in the database, we collect uh, uh, study programs, sessions, books, uh, uh, faculties, university, uh, everything that one more day uh, handle is, uh, uh, hosted on uh, on Firebase. We also have uh, the App Store fee on um, uh, because uh, if you want to uh, develop an app for Apple, for example, you have to pay uh, ninety nine dollar uh, per year, and the same uh, something like like this uh, for um, also for Google. Uh, then we have. Um, uh, some company stuff like uh, Gmail, G Suite. Uh, we also have uh, uh, some software as a service uh, uh, back office for uh, uh, metrics like Bar Metrics. Uh, I don't know if uh, I can share you. Yep. Okay. Uh, in, in this, we can see everything that uh, is related to. Uh, the growth, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So it's very little number uh, uh, by now, but we hope that <laughs> this will improve. We also have uh, um, a CRM for marketing activities, so we can send email from this CRM, and we spend something like uh, 50 euros to have the code of the CRM, and we host it on. Uh, uh, the one more day server and we try to um, uh, be uh, very uh, savvy about uh, uh, the, the, the spend so uh, right now we, we, we don't have uh, an excessive uh, amount of uh, of expensive uh, of uh, expenses uh, per month. So um, I I think that uh, everything we uh, are uh, are spending is for uh, the product. So we pay for development. So this is the the first uh, uh, cost of the company. We also have one uh, like similar question from Andres. 
uh, he asked besides the marketing campaign that you've con conducted through Instagram, what other marketing methods have you used already? Okay, when we started One More Day, it was uh, 2016, Instagram was not so popular. So the first uh, social uh, advertising campaign were on Facebook and we use uh, the, the timeline of Facebook. Um, right now we use uh, Instagram stories because uh, they are much more effective uh, for uh, the target. So students are much more engaged in, uh, in uh, Instagram. Uh, we are thinking about TikTok and new channels, but um, at this moment uh, uh, with so uh, short budget, uh, we have to uh, concentrate it on just one uh, channel. We also have some free opportunity. Uh, like a partnership with other company, other organization. Um, we are, so, are also working for a um, uh, relation with uh, a magazine uh, for uh, creating guest posts on uh, student magazine and uh, other type of collaboration. But it's very difficult to me measure uh, the um, return on investment on this type of activity. The next question from Q&A panel is from Stefano. He asked, how many premium users do you have? In your opinion, what is the main reason why users are not using premium and they use mainly a free version? Okay, uh, it's a good question. We uh, have uh, uh, four active premium users at the moment. And um, uh, I think that <laughs> we put a lot inside the free plan. So I, I think that, that if you want to study with one more day, you can use it for free. And, uh, and to be totally honest, I don't want to change this because uh, uh, I, I like the way that uh, one more day helps people. So uh, when I started this, I, I, I want to help my sister to um, uh, prepare for exams and to um, uh, go the, uh, to fight uh, uh, the anxiety. So uh, I, I think that uh, when a student use one more day, uh, is fighting with uh, with uh, a lot of problems, a lot of difficulties. So I, I want to keep it, it free uh, as much as I can. Uh, I think that premium will be a good deal for people that want to customize their experience with the, within the app uh, for um, a new feature that we can uh, uh, add in the future. Uh, at the moment, if you uh, became a premium user, you will have the capability to uh, customize your timetable. So you can execute some uh, specific um, uh, time or uh, uh, day for, from the study calendar. And you can also add uh, uh, a limited number of uh, study programs. So if you are um, very pragmatic person, you maybe want to uh, plan uh, everything uh, on the first day, so you will, uh, you can create uh, every uh, exam in, in one way, you can have 10 or uh, 12 um, exams. Uh, instead, if you want to use it uh, for free, you have only two study, study programs, but uh, I think that uh, no one study more than uh, one or two exam uh, per time. So uh, this is the reason because uh, the reason why people uh, can use for free uh, and uh, decide to to stay free. Thank you for that. I, I don't know if you if you agree with this right? because uh, it's a. Uh, it, it's not uh, scientific, it's not uh, um, 
uh, a metric that we collect at the moment. It, it's something that, that um, uh, come out from my, my thinking. So. Oh, so because I guess that once you uh, get a large network uh, and a large number of users, you can maybe exploit the much more the advertising uh, revenue stream. So uh, probably uh, this uh, idea of yours, which is, uh, I mean, totally, uh, we, we can really appreciate on the one hand. Uh, on the other hand, can be sustainable in the long run, uh, probably if uh, you, you, you reach a large uh, customer base and therefore you can take advantage of advertising uh, uh, that can compensate from the uh, low number of premium uh, uh, users. That could be one uh, way to keep it uh, sustainable in the long run. What do you think about? I totally agree. <laughs> if I may ask a related question, I'm just curious myself. Uh, do you keep track of return on investment? I know it's not always easy to operationalize, but I'm curious, like for every dollar you spend on, pay, uh, on Instagram advertisement, do you know how much you get sort of long term back? Is there a way to calculate that at all? Okay, at the moment, uh, I, I cannot give you a correct answer uh, because my net revenue from uh, uh, the new release of the app is uh, something like $138 from premium. And uh, I think uh, $100 from uh, advertising, and we spent uh, 100 uh, uh, euro uh, per month from January, so January, February, March. Uh, maybe we we are losing uh, $100 at the moment. So basically, for every dollar, it gives back about 75 cents or something. Like yes, that. yes, yes. But but yeah. it, it, I. I I cannot uh, be sure of this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the reason I'm asking is I wonder if it would make sense to try to uh, rev up, you know, to increase their spending and spend several thousand dollars a month. Uh, and I wonder in that, I guess it's a little risky. So if you don't know if it's going to be above one, then obviously there is a big risk associated with that. But at the same time, if it's approaching one, then in a sense, you know, if you know you get back whatever you spent, maybe it would make sense to increase the, the, the budget. So, uh, but again, it, it's a little, you know, you're absolutely right. It's very hard to, you know, to calculate, to take everything into account. Uh, at, at the moment, we are working on uh, improving the um, UE, UX of uh, premium activation also for this reason, because we want to understand uh, uh, metrics so we can uh, uh, make some plan. Uh, I, I will never spend, I come from the ad advertising world, so <laughs> I, I will never spend uh, 1,000 euro per month if uh, uh, I don't know how much I can uh, get from, from, from this uh, approximately. Yeah, I, I, if I can just share my sort of worries, and I'm not sure if it's the same thing that you have. Um, so I've, I've had a few businesses, and uh, in fact, we still now advertise at this time for the X-Culture Children's Program for the next semester. And so our calculations show that we get approximately $1.50, $1.75 for every dollar we spend. So it, it, it is positive. And technically, what that means is that I should be spending millions of dollars on advertisements because so far for every dollar I spend, I get a lot of money back. Yeah. And yet I have this mental block. I'm, I'm a little worried and afraid to spend too much. So uh, we got as far as we were spending something like $300, $500 a day right before the uh, uh, deadline of the last season. And as I said, looking at the numbers, it all came back. We got back more than we, we, we spent. And, you know, had we spent, let's say, I don't know, I'm just, I'll just make up a big amount, like number, let's say if we spend a million dollars, it looks like we would have gotten back like one and a half million. But then again, somehow psychologically, it's always, you know, scary to spend more because you never know if it's going to come back and you don't really want to get a loan and you don't really have a huge budget. So I don't know, are those the same sort of worries that you go through or just my psychological sort of profile? Uh, in addition, in addition Vazi, it might be that the returns is... Uh, has a decre decreasing rate. Maybe you have uh, Yeah, that's true too. Yeah, you yeah. never know. Yeah, maybe for the first $100, you get a dollar yeah. fifty for every yes. dollar. But then, you know, that's a very good point. 
Uh, Although the good, the good thing is that your business is global, essentially, right? So it's not like it's limited to one city. And once you saturate the market, you have nowhere to go. I mean, in a sense, you can potentially have millions and millions of your users from all around the world. So hopefully the, the return on investment will not decrease fast with the additional customer base. You need to, to test uh, different channels to yeah. uh, consider the saturation of each, each channel. And uh, this is very critical to, to choose uh, uh, how much uh, you can invest on that channel. And at the moment, we, we spend so, um, uh, so little money on uh, Instagram that uh, I can tell you, yes, I'm, I'm happy of my uh, return at the moment because if I consider uh, the lifetime of, of, um, of every user in terms of advertising, uh, on partnership, uh, I, I think that, that uh, every user is worth more than 0 0.08 uh, euro. Um, so I, I think that I'm uh, ROI positive at the moment. Also, if um, uh, my my number says that, that I'm losing uh, uh, 25 uh, cents uh, every every dollar I spend, um, I, I think that uh, uh, if tomorrow you give me one million. Uh, I will never spend uh, completely on one channel like Instagram or uh, also if Instagram is uh, generating uh, $5 per uh, $1 spend. Well, another challenge, I don't know if it's the case for you, but for Xculture with Xculture Kids is that we spend money now, but we don't charge until people complete the first phase of the project. And mm. so for me, it's very hard to predict what will be the return on investment at this time because I will not know for a few months. And so that makes it scary. So I, I think for some businesses where the purchases are made instantly, it's a little bit easier to monitor. But anyway, we don't have much time left. So I'll let uh, Julia ask some of the remaining questions um, because we have another webinar in 15 minutes less than that. So we need to finish this one. So Julia, I want to go. I want to go a little further from the marketing, and I want to ask, what are you looking for when hiring people? Okay, <laughs> it, it, it's a good question. I, I'm not so prepared at the moment to answer to this question. I think, but but it's a it's a very good question. Um, when I hire, hire people in my full time job. Uh, I'm looking for uh, attitude uh, and passion about uh, what they care about. So um, when I, for example, uh, hire a content uh, marketing specialist, uh, I, I want to know uh, if uh, in uh, the, the, the spare time, the free time, uh, he or she writes something or uh, uh, manage a blog uh, or uh, uh, I don't know. In, in, um, I'm looking for magic. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I want to see the stars that, that uh, are sparkling in, uh, in their eyes uh, for, uh, for something that, that they care about. And um, because uh, this is me when we talk about uh, uh, marketing, startup, uh, and uh, growth strategies. So I, I think that uh, the, the commitment, the engagement, uh, uh, you, you cannot declare it. You cannot say, oh, I will be 100% uh, uh, for, uh, for your company, but you can understand from what they do in the past and what they are currently doing in their spare time or free time or in, in their job if they already work. So uh, I, I think that these are my, my criteria, criteria of, uh, of choice. Uh, but I, I think I can learn uh, something about that. So uh, maybe in the future I, I I will uh, answer uh, to this question better. 
And um, to continue this theme, uh, what do you outsource and what do you do yourself? It's a question from our students who uh, couldn't attend uh, for this time. <laughs> uh, so I started programming when I was uh, eight year old, but then I stopped when uh, I moved in Milan because uh, I uh, totally fall in love with marketing and it's not like a bicycle so you cannot uh, uh, go up and, and, and cycle but, but uh, you have to uh, be updated and follow the, the trend of programming etc etc so uh, I cannot develop an app and um, I uh, choose to uh, delegate the, the world development to um, an external company that uh, is composed by two young guys. Uh, it's also an innovative startup here in Italy. So uh, basically we are the first client. So uh, I, I, in, in my egoist uh, uh, <laughs> desire, I hope that, uh, that we can remain the, the, the first and only client and uh, hire them uh, full time in, uh, in our company, I don't know. But uh, at the moment, the development of the app is uh, completely outsourced. Uh, what we do internally is uh, marketing, uh, finance, and everything is collected to partnership sales uh, operation. Super, thank you for answer. And um, do you know if there are um, many new customers who were referred by the old customers? What may be percent of new customers I acquired via advertising and what percentage are via um, maybe some advising? Okay, uh, we have um, an invitation system inside the app. Mm -hmm. So we know if you invite uh, a an user and this user uh, redeem uh, is, uh, is invite. But at the moment, only uh, 50 users <laughs> come in uh, one more day because uh, invited. Uh, this is a, a, a strange uh, behavior for me uh, because when I was uh, at the college, I, sh I remember that I shared everything and I tried to get uh, uh, the best from um, from every opportunity and uh, when uh, sorry when you invite someone in one more day you get one week premium and uh, you give to your friend a week of premium so uh, it, it's very strange that that, uh, that people uh, don't use uh, the invitation system I can also tell you that uh, a lot of people search on Google because maybe someone referred to them uh, by uh, simply telling, uh, hey man, there's a new app, uh, it's called One More Day, go searching for, uh, for it. And, and they come from, uh, from, from Google or from other search engine. So um, we have 80% from advertising and 20% from uh, other sources. Uh, I know that your company is um, maybe young, but if you could back in time, what would you do differently? Oh, a lot of things. Uh, <laughs> the first, the first <laughs> is uh, uh, to move faster, uh, to maybe to jump in some decision and do not procrastinate and do not um, uh, thinking so much about what can happen if I do this or if I do that. Do and not hesitate, yeah? Just do it like Nike. Uh, <laughs> and um, uh, another thing is related to development team. Uh, when I started, I the first time 
I was looking for uh, a developer partner, but it's very difficult to engage someone as a partner in your company and tell him, uh, okay, I got the idea and now you develop the, the wallet alone. So the, the, it, it, it was uh, much more easy to pay someone and then maybe I can engage uh, a developer to join the team or join as a partner, or I don't know, but uh, it's much more easy, easy uh, to me to engage someone uh, today with uh, a fully functional app uh, that is generating uh, uh, some little revenues that is growing. So I, I think that, uh, uh, yes, these are the, the thing that, that uh, if I can come back, I will uh, do differently. Thanks. Maybe this this is advice. Uh, this advice is uh, maybe uh, very useful for every business and for every uh, person who making decisions. Yeah. <laughs> I, I hate to be the bad cop here, but since we have another webinar in three minutes uh, with Zen CV, I think we would need to stop here, right, Stefano? We have about five minutes till the next one, right? Yeah. Uh, there is just one question that is probably unanswered. I don't know if you answered by Matteo, but very quickly if you have a precise budget for the marketing campaign uh, because uh, uh, that's the only question probably you didn't i don't know if you have a number for the marketing campaign yes at the moment uh, without uh, any source of funding we spend uh, 100 euro per month for um, this uh, okay. instagram campaign and okay. we are also confident that funding will come so maybe this number will uh, will grow in the in the future okay okay thank you thank, thank you so we do have the recording then for students who are not able to visit live they will be able to watch the recording and then um, for those who are watching now if you have questions that we did not answer as always if you email them to admin at xculture.org uh, julia manages that account now together with simone uh, so she will be taking over fully in a few days she will forward them to the company if needed and if it's a question that we know the answer to she will use our catalog and send you the answer uh, from the catalog of frequently asked questions and um, yes yeah, so uh, i think it will be what another three weeks before we have the final reports so at this time actually one more day was one of the most popular companies in the early track uh, so you were i think <laughs> the second most popular company after zen tv or something like that oh, or i forget out events i believe that one was the most popular so we already have something like 70 reports for you uh, from a collection of 260 teams or 70 teams. So those are available, will be available any day now. We are still waiting for some of the evaluations from the professors. Again, Julia is managing that process, but once we have the evaluations, we'll send you the first round. And then it will be another probably three weeks before we have the next round of uh, uh, reports and then probably another week or so before we have the evaluations. Uh, but yes, my hope is that there will be lots of interesting, good ideas there. And um, yeah, let's see how things go. So, uh, but sorry, uh, I can just remember to uh, everyone that we we give the coupon code oh, for yeah. Uh, yeah. for uh, um, X Culture uh, participant. And uh, I was asked about uh, how to redeem the code. So it's very simple. You can go on the menu of the app and then to redeem coupon. But um, iPhone users um, uh, can see this menu item until they create at least two study programs in their app. So uh, before uh, activate the coupon code, create uh, two sample study program, and then you will see the redeem coupon in the, in the menu. So thank you. Maybe it would be a good <laughs> idea for me to send another reminder uh, to the students that they have this option, because last time when we were reminded this whole coronavirus started, and I think people were just too busy, too hectic, trying to adjust to the new life, so maybe there will be more uh, who will pay attention this time. So, yeah. Okay. I, I also sent a video tutorial to someone last, yeah. last week. Maybe to Julia? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then yes, uh, Julia should be able to see it. Okay, perfect. I shared it with some uh, students uh, who make a response.
So okay. everything is under control. Yep. Wonderful. Perfect. That's what we want to hear. You, you will have a lot of papers to read uh, while staying home at your queen. You know yeah. What? <laughs> How to spend your time. Okay. All right. Uh, let's stop here and then I will you. see some of you again in the next webinar, hopefully in a minute. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.